Please welcome a very funny guy from Seattle, Derek Chin. Like, so much better. Like, oh shit. Like, this is so exciting. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be very fun. Oh, so fucking excited to be in San Diego. Uh, I gotta confess, something happened last week. I gotta get it off my chest. Um, and I don't know how to process it, what happened. But I hit a kid on a bicycle And it was, it was terrifying. I, I didn't see him, he ran into the intersection. I hit him so hard that he, he went into the air and landed on the hood of the car with such force that it left an imprint of his body. I was like, I just killed a child and I ran out of the car and I'm holding him. And it turns out, I, I'm calling 911, he's actually fine, he's just fucking concussed. And 911 comes, I get his car in the back, uh, the bike in the back of my car, I follow the ambulance, uh, they call his parents, I wait for his parents, kid's fine. Not a broken bone, nothing, it's totally great. Parents didn't press charges. They were very happy that I took care of their kid, called 911. Here's, here's where I'm having a problem. Um, I left the hospital and started my car and for the first time in nine years, my air conditioner started working again. <laughs> and I don't know how to process that. Am I a monster? Thank God I hit that kid. I <laughs> saw the most American thing I've ever seen in my life recently. It was the most, and I have to put this in perspective. Previously, the most American thing I'd ever seen in my life was in New York two years ago. It was a person. And it, was one of those moments where it just reinvigorated my love of this country. I'm, I'm not a weird nationalist, I just fucking love this place and sometimes I think we forget what our core values are and we get sidetracked and we forget the, the thing that we're supposed to be doing and I saw it, it was a person. When I got off the plane in LaGuardia and I took a cab and I was hungry and I saw this, I saw a Sikh teenager in a Hello Kitty t-shirt <laughs> who was enjoying a black bean and chicken quesadilla <laughs> in an Irish pub <laughs> in Little Italy. That is the fucking most American thing. I was like, yes, you said the melting pot is stacked. And, and then uh, just last month at a shopping mall in the Midwest, I saw the thing that trumped it. It was a dude coming down an escalator with his sunglasses on indoors yelling at people going on the up escalator. Has anyone seen the Quiznos? <laughs> and someone going up yelled back at him, hey dude, dude, you missed it. It's actually right at the top of the escalator, man. You walked right by it. And he goes, oh, thanks. And then he turns around and puts his chin in his chest. And before he reaches the bottom of the escalator, he says out loud to no one, <sighs> Looks like I'm not getting Quiznos now. <laughs> That's the most American thing I've ever seen in my life. If we were testing, put your pencils down, my PA will grab your papers. We fucking figured it out. The most American thing ever. We finally made a person so hungry, yet so lazy. They can't be bothered to turn 90 degrees at the bottom of fucking wizard stairs to be carried without effort to a sandwich. Nice job, everybody. We did it.